see. All right, all right. <laughs> Let's see. So I missed FP1 because I had to do laundry, and I like to get there early. And, um, yeah, so we're in FP2, and so Hamilton went off. In, oh, yes, and we're, and we're in France. Um, Paul Ricard, Paul Ricard. Circuit. And, um, yeah, so they had a replay. They were having fun with Hamilton going off and then rejoining, and they're calling it an unsafe manner. But, um, but yeah, and they're saying that so she did get a penalty. But um, there was nothing like what Vettel did. <laughs> because, first of all, we're in practice. In <laughs> practice, too. Free practice, too. But the other thing is that um, he didn't impede um, Verstappen, now they're saying. Because they're claiming that he impeded Verstappen because he and rejoined in an unsafe manner. Um, Verstappen had basically all the room in the world. He did not rejoin in an unsafe manner. And, uh, and Verstappen, he screwed up on his own. He, he just lost it, you know, because Hamilton was nowhere near him. If he would have, like, if Hamilton would have come on, you know, and blocked him or something, come on the racing line, he was on it because they were saying there's no yellow flags, which he definitely had enough time to put out yellow flags. Because Hamilton slowed down like crazy, and then before he was coming back on the track. So that's the other thing, though, also. Um, because if they thought it was really dangerous, they would have put a yellow flag out when Hamilton first went off. But um, but they kept the green flags out. So um, But the way he joined, he stayed at the right side. It was the right-hand corner, and Hamilton was at the right hand, you know. But um, but Verstappen, he was like all the way over on the left side. So to actually call that regaining, let's see, there's Botas drafting off of, I can't tell us that, that I think that's, that's Stroll. But yeah, so Botas leads Hamilton, Leclerc, Vettel, Norris, Verstappen, Saints, Gasly, Raikkonen, Magnussen, Giovinazzi, Ricardo, Albon, Hulkenberg, Hulkenberg Kvyat, Perez, uh, Grosjean, Stroll, Russell, Kubica. Oh, I think it was. Yeah, yeah, you could hear. Um, I think he, I think he, Botas locked up and he's, and he's, he's bumping. Let's see, you can see him shifting gears, going up. He's in eighth gear. It's really cool the shots that they have that of these cars, but um, but yeah, they were. Four years after you won the British Grand Prix, is that his champ taking part as Dayton? Yeah, it's um, it's like um, you know, th those tires are really roughing it up. But everybody always talks about how oh, they need um, you know, p to be punished thoroughly. You need a wall there, or you need gravel, so if they make a mistake, they can't come back on. That's like the stupidest thing I've ever heard, because if they go off, that means there's less chance of that person being able to come back on and 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 into the race and and pass someone you know, or making some turn or some corner, someone passing them, you know, later on a couple of, a couple of laps down, you know, a couple of laps, you know, down the road or further into the race. And if you have fewer cars, you morons, <laughs> you know, there's going to be, there's definitely going to be less opportunity for passing. So that's why France is totally awesome, or Paul Ricard is totally awesome because you have that runoff area. So the cars stay in the race. So, let's see, it looks like it might have been, I don't think he locked up a little there, but, uh, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, you can see his tire there, looks kind of beat up, and my, my crappy megapixel, yeah, that thing looks like, looks like it's been on the car for like two years or something, like totally warped, and not even just a flat spot, it's got like a flat spot to the super inside, but, um, but yeah, I mean, um, or it was just a lot of stupid people, you know. Oh, punish him, punish him. And, um, but they're still talking about Vettel's punishment, <laughs> you know. And, uh, wow, they didn't see how many, that was Leclerc saying all the tires are gone. Yeah, but I'm not sure what he's running on, whether he's running on um, reds or what. Like, most people, they have a lot of reds, though. Like, they, I don't know if they, they were here last year. <laughs> I think this they have 
I don't think they were here last year. Were they here last year? Somebody comments on my YouTube channel whether Formula One was here last year. I don't think. I think they, this is the first time they've been back to France in uh, quite some time now. And um, so I don't think they they're familiar with this track. It was really. I thought it was really surprising though because it, they said it's similar to Canada. But um, but yeah, Norris is actually doing pretty good. Norris is actually up in fifth. I can't believe. And uh, Sainz actually bounced up to seventh, though. That's pretty good for uh, for McLaren. <laughs> but but yeah, let's see, I'm I'm really surprised by Raikkonen. He's only in ninth. You know, let's see where the hell is uh, um, Magnussen? Oh, he's in tenth. And where the hell's Grosjean? This, oh wow, Grosjean's down in seventeenth. Right. But um, yeah, I was actually watching parts of uh, um, um, F2 practice, but um, I don't know. They, they they need I don't know. There's just one person commentating. You know, it it definitely sounds a bit more lively when they have more. I mean, I've heard at least two people commentating in FP2. I mean, uh, um, for F2. But I would see. Okay, is this? Oh no, that's a replay. He's doing it by himself. But um, like a lot of people are going off though. I guess because they haven't been here in a while. I think. I don't remember. Um, but um, but yeah. Uh, let me see. Wait, where are we? Five minutes left in this practice, and um, I gotta, ugh, I gotta catch. Uh, I gotta catch the. Uh, the replay on FP1. I don't know who actually topped the time sheets on FP1, but yeah, I, I think, I think, I think, damn, I think they only have because they're using a crop load of tires there. Like they're going through a lot of tires. I don't know how many tires they used in FP1, but uh, but I thought they had. They said like I don't know. Did they replace them? Oh. <laughs> Norris, see, he said, why am I at the bottom of the pack? It is, he's in fifth. Uh, I guess he said, um, I think that was, uh, what's that guy's name? Um, what the hell is that guy's name? Um, does Ted, oh yeah, Ted, I was going to say Ted's notebook. Ted, he was saying that was supposed to be figurative. Maybe he's complaining that he doesn't feel the car is fast enough, but he's all he's doing yellers though, or maybe it's their simulation. They're doing this, their simulated runs, so they're not you know improving or anything. Oh, is something? Oh, oh, that's what he's talking about. Yeah. Yeah, seeing his his pack's not fully charging. I'm trying to over talk them, so uh, or uh, talk over them, uh, so they won't get uh, flagged by the um, the um, the YouTube Nazis. <laughs> That's a good idea. Like the um, what do you call those guys? The soup Nazi, like Seinfeld. <laughs> The, the, um, the, um, what are they called? What, what are they saying? Uh, infringement Nazis or something like that. <laughs> I want them knocking on my door. Open the door! We know you are in there! Yeah, but, um, let me see. What am I doing? I'm not showing anything. I'm, okay, I'm fully covered. I'm not showing anything embarrassing here. But, uh, but yeah. Um, it's a wild-looking track. Wow, it looks, damn it, I should have got a shot of that. Boy, it looks really beautiful. It looks confusing as crap. <laughs> you know, it's, I, I, I can only imagine it, driving those damn tracks. I'd lose my way. I'd need uh, one of those GPS navigators, a, a Mui Mui or a Garmin. Um, make a turn and, you know, 45 feet, or 45 inches. <laughs> turn left and 45 inches. Something like that, because you're blasting so fast. But let me see, who is this? This is Vettel. Yeah, I guess he's. Everybody's running yellow. So right. So um, I, I think.
What is that? Uh, Botas is, is just shows outlap right now. I think he did a one, yeah one thirty point one right one thirty point nine three seven. Hamilton's back point four two four. Leclerc's back point six four nine. Vettel's back point seven two eight. Norris is back nine four five. Verstappen is back one point one one two. Science is wait. Science is outlap. Gasly is back 1.511, so I guess science is in between there. Verstappen and Gasly. Raikkonen is back 1.740. Uh, Magnussen is back 1.852. Giovinazzi is back 2.036. Ricardo is back 2.083. Albon is back 2.086. Um, Hulkenberg is back 2.144. Kvyat is back 2.317. Perez is back 2.363. Grosjean is back 2.654. Stroll is back 2.947. Russell is back 3.677. Uh, uh, Kubica is last man on the totem pole, but he's showing outlap. So, yeah. Um, Let's see. Um, yeah, right. Oh, wow. Um, one minute left now in the session. And, uh, but yeah, interesting, interesting, interesting. Um, so now we're waiting if, if Hamilton is going to get a penalty. <laughs> but I'm safe. Um, you can probably find it on YouTube somewhere. Somebody will probably post it on YouTube somewhere about um, Hamilton's re entry. And then they are commentating their commentate their commentation. Because I think there must be like what, five people in that damn booth. I don't hear Chad Hook today though. Or Chard Hook or whatever the hell you say his name. And uh, I think uh, Anthony Davidson. Oh yeah, that's what I wanted to mention. Yeah, when I was listening to uh, Anthony Davidson. I'm not sure. Was it this one or was it was I was I, I was listening to part watch it or watching part of uh, F P one. And Davidson, I think that was Davidson, Anthony Davidson. I might be um, um, mistaken, though, but it might have been someone else. The other guy, I forgot the other guy's name, um, that, that commentates for them, and then he goes racing. Um, but he was saying, oh, yeah, Hamilton should have known, and Hamilton should have been ready. No, he knew. Hamilton knew. He was trying to, he forced Vettel into a mistake, and then he forced himself. Whoa, that was cool. What was that, Raikkonen or Venazzi? You see him like sliding, just wicked slides sideways. Let's see, see, he's bouncing off the track there. So first, the front goes off. These cars look really wicked sometimes. They don't look nearly as awesome though as the older cars. You know, as uh, like I look at those races from the '90s, how short they are. But I guess it's that MGUH, was that MGUK that makes the cars longer though. So you need to have room for that because I guess they're atta- I think they're attached to the front of the back of the engine. I think they're, I'm not. I was, look, I was looking at the um, the configuration sometime uh, at, 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 a, at you know at one point where they were showing his Hamilton again, and um, right, he's showing a personal best one thirty one three one thirty one point three I think four one some crap like that. And, um, but yeah, so I think they've given up on trying to go the fastest lap. Yeah, so they, yeah, so, right, that's the end. So, Botas flag, Hamilton flag, Leclerc, no flag just yet. Vettel flag, Norris flag, Verstappen flag, Saints flag, no flag for Gasly, no flag for Raikkonen yet. Magnussen flag, no flag for Giovinazzi. Uh, flag for Ricardo, flag for, I mean, um, you know, end of the end of the practice flag. That's what I'm talking about. Albon, Hulkenberg, Kvyat, Perez. No flag for Grosjean yet. They, they turned it off there. But um, but yeah. But oh, the other thing I was saying was that the red the uh, the red tires. I think Hamilton got like nine red tires. I think three yellows and two whites. And I think um, Botas Botas got I think only one white. But. I, I didn't hear. He said I, he didn't say. I mean, oh, he said seven laps, ten laps. Boy, that, that's not. That's not crap. Just those few laps. Botas, ten laps. Hamilton, seven laps.
about Hamilton going off, coming back on, and Hamilton Stappen uh, running wide when Hamilton rejoined the track. I, personally, I don't expect there to be a penalty. I hope not. I, hope not. I certainly hope not, because it is a practice session. And really, it, it wasn't dangerous. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Oh, I wonder if I can, if there's enough time to get this. Let's see. Oh, I was wondering why you had his hand up. Is that? Oh, is this the French flag? Oh, they didn't show the whole thing. But, um, you can see Verstappen from a particular angle. He's a cute chick there. Come back to it. You can't see it. Blurry as crap in there. Okay, this is, they just said Hamilton led this morning, and now Botas. Okay, okay. So, so they said, I don't know, they didn't say which Ferrari led for FP1, though. But, um, yeah, I guess I'll go rewatch that. I hate it when they cut this crap off. I was desperately trying to get, um, what the hell, is those, what the hell are those guys, um, Sky. But I don't think he can get Sky in, uh, America. 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 Can't get Sky in America. In America. 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 Um, yeah, so, because they don't speak American. But, um, um, yeah. Or because they, they talk about it. I remember that, that I, don't, I haven't gone to that site, though, in years. What the hell is that site? It used to be a free site. Um, I forgot the name of something TV. Um, VIP box dot TV. Yeah. And you, sometimes I think it was somebody broadcasting it from his house because you could see him changing the channel, which is kind of funny. But he, sometimes he would leave it on there when they first started. And he would just leave it on all day, just hours and hours. It was really cool the way they would just cover it. They would talk about things, the debrief and all kinds of crazy stuff. Then they show races and they he'd just cover that, like old races. But I think um, they, this, I think they're getting this feed from ESPN now, and um, I can't believe they're actually covering this. But they were saying that they're, uh, they're, they're I think in Germany they they dropped a million people <laughs> because Mercedes is winning so much. They were complaining, but some people were saying, "Well, don't, you can't blame Mercedes for winning," you know. But uh, uh, other people were saying that a lot of uh, because they used to get it for free, and um, Germany gets it for free. Uh, they get all the races for free, um, but but um, people were saying that the the reason that their coverage has dropped though is because every you have to pay to see it. <laughs> They're charging, so people said the hell with that, you know. So uh, well, they, they didn't like make that connection because people were saying the hell with that. But but I think I think they said Chase Carey said it, it may have dropped bastards. <laughs> Cut it off. Case, uh, yeah, Chase, Case, uh, Chase Carey said, oh, I wanted to listen to, I don't think I finished listening to the uh, comment, the com the um, the round, uh, uh, press conference, let's say round table, uh, press conference, yeah, um, yeah, press conference by the, the, the uh, not the stewards, that would be cool if the stewards had a, uh, that's what they should do, have stewards, the stewards um, press conference, <laughs> they can talk about what assholes the drivers are. <laughs> You know, but they were saying how. Um, um, also, where the hell was I listening to that? I think that might have been FP1 though, part of it. Huh, I wonder if I saw. Sorry, I caught it like on the funny bone. But um, they're saying that you have to penalize these guys, and I think they were saying some other well, another driver was saying that of how um, they were giving examples before they started penalizing. You had Schumacher that would that would do dirty tricks like hit um, Villeneuve and try and break his car. <laughs> dirty bastard. Man. And uh, or when um, um, Schumacher um, hit, um, uh, took out uh, what was his name, Damon Hill, and then he he he, pun he punted himself into the um, into the gravel, you know, and um, and then I think I think that's when they stripped him. I'm not sure was it the Villeneuve thing or the Hill thing where they stripped Schumacher because I thought he was cheating like a dog, and that uh, they stripped him of all of his points in that year, you know, or either I think it, yeah I think it was either that year or the next year he just had to race around. I'm not, I think he could win races though. I don't remember exactly because you, I, you could you couldn't get any information on that. I I forgot what year that was. 
and maybe you can go back to the archives. That's what's pretty cool about F1 TV, though. Now, now at least you can go. They they have they they go back because I have I I bought I messed up I bought um. I bought like a box set from what the hell was that? That Duke, Duke, um, Duke videos from they're they're based in England, on on DVD. They have uh, the only thing I hate about it is that I think it's blurry as crap. You know everything's blurry like the old ones, and um and yeah they um I got from like I think six the early seventies to the late seventies to like I'm not sure if it was I think it was seventy eight I think I got from like seventy one to seventy eight or nineteen seventy seventy it was really ugly looking cars the cars didn't start to look cool until like um um when the hell was that like seventy four. And uh, but they were still kind of some really creepy looking cars. But when Hep seventy five hit though, that's when all the cars really look you know a, a bit more modern. They didn't look like they were vestiges of the sixties anymore, you know. And uh, and and through then, you know, from about yeah seventy five on up to they started you know with, before they started this crazy stuff with all these these cars sprouting wings. Some of them looked really cool. You know, it was nice to see that. Because the cars at least look different, but um, but with these, it, the thing I loved about the '80s cars, though, I I, you know, I I mentioned it in like all my videos, how they went to those turbo engines, those uh, those 1.5 liter tiny little engines, man, that was really awesome. But they, I, I think, in the magazines like Car and Driver or Road and Track, they give you like a snapshot. You see a picture of them. And which you don't see anymore. They don't let you see the uh, the engines at all. And I remember, I think it was BMW. They had a that four cylinder, one point five liter four. That was kick ass. I still think that they should use that car in like the new McLarens, you know, and uh, um, use that engine. But McLaren, they have their own engines. No one, no, I wonder why no one talks about that because they make that powerful engine, you know. But it's it's a three point eight liter. But um, they should start working on their own engines, you know, because like Ferrari, they make their own cars, so now they make their own engines. I don't know. Maybe they feel that it would be too expensive, and uh, it might be cheaper to just buy an engine. But that's that's really interesting, though. You know how um, because Mercedes, you know, they make their own engines, and uh, actually they're the only two teams that make their own engines. Oh wait, no, that's not true. Um, um, Renault, they make their own engines, and um, I, I thought it would have been cool when Honda and Toyota. They were in it, you know. They were making their own engines, but they were just they they were really just trying to show off a bit much. Just some wasting money, and it sound like Toyota just poured ridiculous amounts of money in, it, and, 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 you know, in in the racing, and no, nothing came of it, which I thought was just idiotic, you know. And uh, they should have been more frugal, so they wouldn't have to pull out, you know, with their uh, with their funds. And Honda also, because I remember that one year they had that that dopey looking Earth car. You know, trying to show, oh, we're we're rich. We don't need sponsorship. They should have just taken the damn sponsorship and had had Formula One as a separate entity. You know, and uh, has like uh, like as a works team where it's it's you know it's Toyota, but it's like a completely different department and almost almost self sufficient or self sustained where they don't really you know get or need that much you know, money from um, Toyota or Honda, you know, that would have been, you know, really badass. And then they could have kept the um, the technology at a higher level because they, I know they, I, I think that's where they, I, I'm wondering if that's why, you know, but, well, not, not that's why, but I'm wondering if Honda came out with that NSX because they were insulted by, because I thought they pulled out of racing after, um, after, um, I'm, I could might be mistaken, but you know, I mean, like back in the '90s and in 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 early 2000s, and even before then, though, you got very little information on what the hell was going on in Formula One. You know, because there's little coverage. There was no internet or anything. You know, no one was talking about it. Like you can just go to YouTube, or you have these these sites now, like um, F. What is that? F one i dot com, BBC slash F one, you know, BBC right dot com, BBC dot com slash F one, Crash dot net, or um, Planet F one. I think there are a couple of others out there also, but I haven't found them. I need to, because I don't think there's that much information. They're almost covering the exact same crap now, 
they used to cover like different aspects, all all the ones that I just mentioned, and oh yeah, and F1.com, and because that's you know it's they, I, I don't know I don't think they cover as much as they used to. I, I might be mistaken, but um, but yeah, because McLaren they they used they, they were winning with Honda, but they used the BMW for their road car, you know, and I'm wondering. I was thinking, boy, that seems like a slap in the face for uh, for Honda. Is they're winning on the track, and then they got to make a road car, and not use a Honda engine. But I'm thinking maybe they didn't feel, you know, they felt that like um, Western countries, you know, Europe and America might not consider, you know, Honda a uh, a worthy, you know, or an established, you know, uh, uh, engine manufacturer. And um, even though they were winning like crazy, because um, you know. Um, they didn't think they were up to snuff or, or sophisticated enough or something like that, which I thought was kind of crazy. Um, but um, and then that's why they went with BMW and maybe Honda felt snubbed, you know, or insulted, and then came out with the NSX because I think it came out and it wasn't around until after they made the F1, you know. And um, so, but yeah, so that's why I was thinking that, um, you know. Um, McLaren, they should make their own engines, their own F1 engines now, you know, and that would be cool. But um, yeah, so then they could be a full-fledged manufacturer, and they can, they would have better control. You know, it would probably take them, you know, ten years or something before they became competitive. But you never know, you know, maybe they could save money or something like that. And um, but it's really amazing that we no one talks about it. Though it's almost like it's a separate entity. They sell these McLaren cars, but no one says, "Why don't they make their own engines?" You never hear anybody talk about that, you know. And uh, but that was the first thing I thought of. You know, I was thinking, why didn't even before they came out with um, the F1, you know, the latest um, McLaren cars. I was thinking, why don't they make, you know, their own engines? I was thinking, why didn't they make their own engines for that F1 car, you know, for the road-going F1 car, and um, instead of using a BMW? But then, and then, you know, and they don't, but they never use BMW engines in their race cars. That's the other thing that I, I, I forgot to even mention that. Yeah, I don't think they've never used a BMW. They used Peugeot. I think at one time, um, I think they did. They ever use a Porsche engine? I'm not sure. I thought. I might be grossly mistaken, but I think they they might have. No, I think it might have been Peugeot. You know, I don't think they've ever used a, a Renault engine though, in um in before now. You know, and uh, but I think I think it was Peugeot, and um, I forgot how well they did. I'm not sure if they had Lauda. I think that's maybe when Lauda and Prost was racing, because I was I was watching a race. I forgot what it was. I'm not sure if it was '84 or '85 from the archives, and um, or it might have been YouTube. But um, but yeah, I think they were using. Uh, I, I didn't even know Lauda and Prost. If, you know, he was racing that that recently. I guess he must have been because he was 70 when he passed. He must have been like 40 years old or something. Maybe 42 or some crap. You know, because that wasn't, you know, this is like 30 years ago. So, yeah, it's like, wow. And he was kick, you'd kick Prost's butt, <laughs> too. He was faster than Prost. Because I remember that race, he, um, he, yeah, I think he won. Didn't he win another championship, like 84, 85, with McLaren or some crap like that? Wow, up to like 28 minutes. I was thinking, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to have enough time, you know, oh, I'm not going to have enough to say about this. I always feel that way, and then I can't shut up. And some days, I don't know, I, I, I feel like I don't want to talk, but when I'm walking, I love it. It feels really great. I don't want to, when I turn it off, I feel like I get depressed as crap. Actually, when I'm doing it now, because I feel like I'm reaching a lot of people, only like one or two people actually, you know, um, view my damn um you guys come on guys i need more subscribers so if you view subscribe please that would be kick-ass if i can get you you wonderful people <laughs> to subscribe i can get because I, I think my my the, the um the most views i've got was like five i think 589 actually i think it was up to like six or seven hundred before the um the soup nazis got me though um, for youtube you know and um for my infringement, I knew I was doing it, but I was, I was like, I think it was for Monaco though, but I was, I was like shaking. I, that was the, that was the coolest race, you know? And, um, I think, um, um, cause I think Verstappen was trying to do to Hamilton what Hamilton did to, um, to, um, Vettel, you know? But, uh, um, 
um, I think Hamilton, he's a hardened soldier, you know, he's, he's battle hardened, you know, and um, so, you know, because, you know, to get where he has, he's had to struggle like crazy with all the racism, you know, all the unfair, you know, penalties that he's gotten, like, wait, I forgot what, I think I talked about that, wait, did I talk about that in that other video, where, um, about the momentum thing, oh yeah, I think I talked about that, I think it was only a six minute video, I was really getting tired, I was walking home in the rain, and, uh, which I love, but I don't know, some reason, I don't know, maybe it was just, it was a, um, it was a depressing and negative, uh, subject matter, and, um, but yeah, uh, yeah, okay, I don't remember what the hell I spoke about, there's so many things, though, that, that they could do to make this racing cool, um, you know, not that it isn't really cool now, but it could be, I think it would be way cooler if there were more variety, you know, they allow more, uh, like V12s, you know, um, from four cylinders to V12s, and just make them like the same, um, um, you know, the same um, cubic inch, or what the hell is that, liter, yeah, because if they were, because I think Ferrari used the six, a V6, and I, th I thought Honda was using a, a, a four-cylinder, but no, they were using a V6 also, and, uh, but BMW, they were using a four-cylinder, and I think Hart, but I think it was, I think, I thought that Hart, that Hart engine, it was a four-cylinder, I remember, I, I just absolutely, I love those engines, though, those things, I remember, the, I'll never forget the way they looked in those magazines, I, I think I was supposed to try and save them, for, you know, but um, I, 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 maybe I'll go on YouTube or, or Google it see, to see those engines. But they kind of look like those Honda engines, the way they look now. Those 1.5 liter Honda engines that they put in the Civics, you know, from like the 90s until like up to the 2000s and things. I don't, I haven't seen any of those, uh, those recent four cylinders, you know, that Honda has and um or or even toyota any of those toyota four cylinders but um and, and they, they, but they look so cool though and um but those they the, like they should probably use actually they they kind of look like those motorcycle engines you know those because those motorcycle engines they look like they should be um formula one engines and those four cylinder you know one thousands things like that that would be kick-ass those things revving and they would be dirt cheap that would be cool they should use those motorcycle engines and then just throw them away you know because they'd only be like you know you just buy the motorcycle engine from honda kawasaki yamaha or suzuki you know, the formula one cars and then you, know, you can just throw it out because they'd only be i mean the motorcycles about the whole motorcycles you know what 10 or 10 or 60 10 or yes either ten thousand or sixteen thousand. I think some of those crazy bastards got up to like 20 grand though, like the Ducatis. I'm not sure if they make an inline four though. I know BMW makes an inline four, but um, but I think um, uh, Ducati they only make the uh, they make the the vertical or uh, the V twin, and um, I'm not I don't think it's a four. I think it's just the the Desmodromic or something like that, where viciously complicated valve you know, um, actuation, things like that, it's like, it looks really cool, but nightmarish, you know, like, anything could break, and, um, so, yeah, those Japanese bikes are way more, um, efficient looking, and I haven't actually seen the BMW, but I'm, I'm the four-cylinder, the 1000, but what would, the, the, the only thing that would be cooler than that, if they used that 600cc, those Japanese uh, engines imagine that that would be kick ass that's what i was that's where i was i always say that too that's where i was hoping they were going to go eventually i was like because I, I um I, I i i'll say it now and i say it a million times i was a, a, a chevy 454 man or, or or ford 460 or that chrysler 440 i thought those things were wicked but i i, I now i've changed my mind ever since i was exposed to those tiny 1.5 liter engines making you know like thousand horsepower or 900 so i think the bmw's made 900 in race trim and like 1700 or 1200 something like that in, in qualifying trims i think the, the 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 hondas make 1700 but they were saying i keep hearing like hints and 
and things like that about the BMWs. They were up there, and then they were saying, like, the Hondas may have actually been making even more 1,800 and 1,900 horsepower in qualifying trim. That's kick-ass for those little engines. It's crazy the way they just discard that technology, you know, and, and, and not bring them into road cars. Because that's what I was thinking, that the um, that NSX, it should have been lighter. They should have been using, like, the a version of that Formula One engine that's making 1,000 horsepower, 1,000 turbo horsepower. And just drop the horsepower down to like um, um, anywhere from 500 down to 300. You know, 500 would have been kick ass, but that 200, I think 264 horsepower, nobody's going to buy that crap. <laughs> you know, it's not, it's, it was a, what they say it was a kick ass handling car, but I think it was too heavy though for, uh, I, even though I don't remember the weight, I don't remember them even talking about the weight of that NSX. But um, this, the one they have now, it's a pig. That thing is like, my God. But it's at least it's a reliable pig. You know, it doesn't look that bad. You know, but it can't it can't stand against the Ferrari though in terms of looks. But the Ferraris though, they're like they're they're really toy cars. They're like toys because they cost so much to maintain. You know, twenty thousand dollars. That's crazy. You know, but I guess if you got that money, if you're a billionaire, a lot of, and there are a lot of millionaires and billionaires today, so people can afford it to pay twenty grand for a tuna. But um, you know, for like the 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 average person, where you have to save up. I'm not sure if Lamborghinis are like that. You know that they never talk about how expensive Lamborghinis. I say they're pretty expensive, but yeah, I think that guy Tavarish. I watched his YouTube video, and I think he was saying the oil change or some crazy. I don't know whether they were joking or not. You know, oil change um, cost like three grand or something. I I don't think I saw that video, but it, their, things are pretty expensive. That's why I think the um, like that NSX and the new NSX, they probably have a heads up on them. But they're too, they're too, they're too heavy though, you know, and um, you might as well go with a Corvette, and, um, like the old Corvette, you know, even a base Corvette. They don't look as ridiculously. They don't look Jim Crow, you know, like a Ku Klux Klan made it, or 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 a retarded child made it. Anymore. I don't know what the hell those people were thinking about, you know. And I'm looking at the new cars they make, like the the, uh, the that Chrysler, that Challenger or Charger. And I think it's the Challenger, the two door. It looks kick ass. There's a guy that runs around my neighborhood like a maniac with that car, but it looks badass. I like it a little more than I like the Ford Mustang and the the Camaro because they look quite, kind. Of, I don't know. They don't look quite as sophisticated or or adult like. Even though I do love them, I love the way they look. And I noticed they changed that Camaro though. They changed the Ford also because I think I see. I don't know. It's hard to tell, but it's cool the way at least they're selling cars now because. I mean, years ago, for the past, I don't know, you see the cars that were made in the past 30 years, it's like, who the hell would waste their money buying cars? It's like, they look like junk. They're all, from off the showroom floor, they look like a used car. You might as well just buy a damn used car. It looks better than that garbage that they're putting out. So I'm like so used to looking at that junk, these new cars, I'm really, they're like blowing my mind. So I've been saying for years how all they have to do is bend the damn metal. Don't they know like a Ferrari exists? You know, like the 360 or the 430, they weren't really that hot looking, but compared to everything else, you know, they were killer. They were like wicked spaceships or, or jet planes, you know, because this, you know, they look good, though, compared to everything else, and, they, and even compared to themselves, to their past glory, but the 458 and the 488, the Pista, even the, uh, what the hell is that called, the front engine, those front engine jobs, those things look kick-ass, and, uh, but even that, that, that B, that, what is that, that BT86 or FT86, right, and the other one, that Toyota and, uh, and Subaru collaborated on, they look like crap on paper, but in real life, they look bitching. Those cars, look, they look so small, their proportions are perfect, I swear to God. And uh, and they use those flat fours, which I love. That's, that's what I was thinking Corvette should have done. They should have went to a flat four so they could make a smaller nose, a shorter nose. So instead of having four four pistons, you know, out, you cut 
two pistons out, and then I think it would have made it more of like a front mid-engine car. You know, then they wouldn't have to make it so radical because they were complaining that Ferrari was beating them because Ferrari had a mid-engine and they can put the power down and get off the corners. But then you see Aston Martins. I think there's Aston Martins. I'm not sure if they were V8s or V12s, and they were kicking the crap out of Corvettes also. You know, I think they were beat, beating everybody, but I know they were beating the Corvettes and the Porsches as well. And uh, But I think the Corvette was just too damn heavy. It's too big, and it's not aerodynamic enough, you know. It had that, that ridiculous nose on it. And I was thinking that with a smaller nose, with a flat four, and make it cast iron, you know. And um, that would have been kick-ass. I, I was thinking about a, uh, that 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 uh, Mustang, not the Mustang, the uh, Corvette with a, of even an inline four. It would have been a little lighter, I think, you know, and just make it cast iron, you know, like they use, I think, the Pontiac Solstice and a couple of other cars now. They put their, they finally decided to make a proper four cylinder. It's just retards. These people are just idiots. That's why they almost went out of business. That's why all of the American companies, they're just making Jim Crow crap, you know? It's the only thing they're thinking about is doing something stupid and racist all the time. Just a bunch of assholes. They really don't even deserve to be in business, to be honest with you. If you look at that garbage, say, like, what moron is running that asshole country uh, or company? And uh, I was always thinking, say, like, these people really need to stop making cars and do something that they're good at. And, um, and that's the, because, I mean, with Chrysler, Ford, with Chrysler, it's not even really Chrysler. It's, it's what is that? Um, 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 Fiat Chrysler, they're dumb bastards, they're just dumb bastards, man. All you gotta do is bend the metals. Like, but I think they were they were saying that when they were too ins too insulated. Like the people that were running the company, they they were out of touch with reality, you know. And um, nobody could get to them because they thought they were hot shit, stupid bastards. And Ford and the Jim today. In nineteen uh, twenty nineteen, they don't even have a thirty three percent of their own market. Like the Japanese are kicking those dumb bastards' asses, and and the Germans, and and and, and now the 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 Koreans. Everybody's just because they're dumb bastards, man. It's like what the hell are you thinking about? But they live like oh, we're better than you. That's and we don't care what we sell. These retards. I mean, they have to see those numbers. You know, I hate those people. <laughs> just making garbage just making garbage and thinking people i mean even the even the ku klux klan and and the uh and and all those races those jim crow races like in the, in middle america and arkansas and 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 um and and, and nebraska and texas in in, in in any of those countries north dakota and south dakota you know and seattle or where the hell ever those dumb bastards said we're not buying that garbage. <laughs> we don't care. We're buying Japanese stuff. You know, the, you, you go to those, you go to the middle of the country. They're they're driving Toyotas, pickup trucks. They're driving Toyota sedans. They're driving Toyota, you know, everything. Uh, minivans. You don't want that garbage. <laughs> Listen, we're racist, but we ain't stupid. <laughs> you know, even though oh, we're racist. You know, yeah, but we ain't crazy. We're not gonna waste our money on that garbage. But, um, okay, <laughs> yeah, so don't forget to subscribe, like, share, um, comment, 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 but subscribe. Okay, bye, guys. <laughs>